Two days ago, he was in Washington, D.C., along with the son of visiting Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro, partying with conservatives at the Trump International Hotel. And here he was in Rome, speaking before a group of around 150 journalists at the 17th century Biblioteca Angelica, a gorgeous high ceiling building lined with a million old books. The environmental movement is a new religion, a theology, not a science, he went on. And the reason it's reared up is conservatives have ceded power in education and allowed progressives to instill cultural Marxism in the schools. There was much more in his rambling hour-long talk, sponsored by the Italian Press Association, Lettera 22, followed by an equally uninformative hour-long question-and-answer period. About the 2020 election in the U.S., he gave his opinion that the most potent Democratic combo would be Senator Kamala Harris and former Representative Beto O'Rourke. But he also predicted that Hillary Clinton might yet enter the race, since the vampire hasn't had a stake driven through her heart. The late Arizona Senator John McCain, who has been the object of a sustained attack by President Trump over the last week, would never have won his last Senate race if Trump hasn't endorsed him, said Bannon, who went on to echo Trump's grievance over McCain's deciding vote to kill Obamacare repeal in 2017. And even though Russia was thuggish, it should be embraced, because the world would need its help against China, whose president, along with the Pope, seems to have become one of Bannon's newest targets. Melissa Rossi is an American journalist based in Western Europe.